Hello YouTube. This is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. Today I want to lay down three additional grounding rods. Well, actually I'm going to pound them. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. And I'm going to put it in a figure, I don't know, like a box formation around it. The element is right here in the middle, the antenna surrounded with four grounding rods. All right guys, I'm ready to pound. I got my hammer, got my safety goggles, got some gloves. I did a little bit of antenna maintenance. I cleaned uh, the grounding plate and what I used was uh, Dawn detergent. And I used like a steel wool to uh, sand that down. And there's my nuts and bolts, star washers and washers, lock washers and everything. That's what I'm going to do. Put these grounding rods closer to the plate and uh, attach it to each corner, the three corners that's remaining. I am now going to pound the grounding rod. All right, cool beans. That's one, two, three, and the fourth one is in there. This is my plan. I'm gonna use this one inch copper strap. I'm gonna come from the grounding rod to the corner of the ground radio plate. So, how I'm going to attach this is I'm going to use a hose clamp and feed that in between, sandwich it, and I want to see how that works. Okay, I snipped off a couple of inches from the one inch copper. So I'm going to attach one in here. I want to puncture a hole here and I'm going to wrap it around the grounding rod and then clamp it with the hose clamp just like that all right I gotta make do with the tools that I have so this is what we're going to do I have a crescent wrench. I have a, a mark where I'm going to drill a hole, but I'm not going to actually drill. I'm going to punch a hole with this uh, punch here. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> Try again. I'm almost through. There we go. Got it through. All right, good. I'm going to flatten it out. And I got a reamer, so I can ream this open if I need to. Here's the bolt. I just need to open it up some more. There 
There you go. Now on the back end, you gotta file file that off because it's it's really sharp, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna round off the edges. There it is. I'm gonna use this so they have a good conductivity with the grounding rod. I'll put the bolt in first. Gotta come from the bottom side. Okay. Look at this stuff. Nice stuff, huh? We got the star washer. I like this stuff because it it seems to me it makes it a nice contact. Alright, so now I'm going to put some here. Put that there. And the uh, flat washer goes. And lock washer. Then the nut. That's nice and snug. I'm going to adjust the uh, copper strap to conform around the grounding rod. Gloves are on because this is sharp. Like that. And I'm going to put some anti-seize just l literally just coat coat it because this is going to contact the grounding rod then I'm going to take my hose clamp and clamp it I'm just bending it to form around the rod Here's a better look. See how it's formed? I bent it around the rod and it's connected to the grounding radio plate. And finish it off with the hose clamp. Now that's the finished product. The copper strap it's hugging the grounding rod held by by the hose clamp and the strap is connected to the ground radio plate. So let me finish the other two and then I'll show you the finished product in the morning. Good day guys, it's a new day. Sorry, I already had my coffee this morning. And uh, I want to show you what I did so far and I finished up last night on the new Zero 05 antenna. This morning I spray painted my grounding wire. Remember that was red? Now I spray painted it to a flat black. Now here are my copper straps connected to the radio plate. Here's the other, and the third one is over there. I'm feeling good this morning. The temperature here in Florida is 61 degrees. And I'm going to go ahead and spray paint the antenna while the temperatures are kind of warm. It's uh, windy here in Florida. 
I don't know if you can see the antenna swaying. It's swaying from left to right. You see it flexing? Not a whole lot. The winds are probably like 10 knots. All right, guys, I'm going to lower the antenna and wish me luck. I hope I don't have any mishaps. All good. Okay, I just got some Dawn dishwashing soap and uh, a couple scouring pads. I'm going to remove this plate and I'm just going to clean the contacts that's connected to this uh, upright uh, I masked. Let me do that now. The bolts come off easily because I have anti seize on the threads. Let me show you some of the corrosion I'm talking about. Right here, take a look at that white film that's corrosion there and um, you can see a little bit of metal right there so I want to make a better contact with ground and also down here as well at the bottom so I'm going to clean that up and where they connect oh man it's dirty the anti -seize. I'm going to clean this up real well and uh, when I connect it together I'm going to put some anti seize in there so to prevent it's almost like a um, corrosion preventative all right I made a lot of progress I totally broken it down I took off the ground radials and everything it's like starting from scratch so let me show you something here this this bolt right here it's stuck I cannot this one right here I cannot take it out this one I can no problem but this one it is stuck so what I had to do is I had to spread it open okay and I had to take off the cap of the mast. I had to take the cap off and elevate it, the ground plate off the mask. So I got everything cleaned up. Look, it's all clean. And uh, here's the other stuff the plates. Everything is totally clean. And when I put it back together, I will use the anti seize again this SS30 lube it's called jet lube okay now the mask it's laying on footstools I'm going to clean it first before I paint it and I'm just gonna clean it it's it's brand new I just put it up like three days or what last week and uh, that's just done dishwashing soap I'm gonna wipe it down no need to scrub and then and clean it with fresh water
Now I'm going to uh, rinse it with a, bu a bucket of uh, warm water. All right, we're gonna install the DX Engineering grounding plate. I took the cap off so I could fit the U-bolt U joint down. It's about an inch and a half to two inches above the ground. My ground is uneven, so it might, it's two inches here, about an inch over here. All right, we're gonna get these U-joints connected. Just like that, if it's too big to get in, you just squeeze them a little bit, and they go in easy like that. First, you wanna U-bolt around the mast, and then the two larger holes, that's gonna be connecting the larger bolts that connect to the base of the, the antenna. So I'm going to follow those marks that was there previously. Okay, I'm gonna line up the holes and then put the bolts down. The flight attendants are calling me. I'm not gonna tighten it down all the way. I'm just gonna make it nice and snug so I can adjust it up or down if I need to. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other U-joint. You want these pretty tight, kind of torque down, but not so much torque where you're gonna strip the threads. That's fair enough. I gave it some time for the the antenna to dry. Now I'm going to uh, spray paint it. What I got here is just a, a primer. It's a flat gray primer. And I'm gonna show you where, if you plan on painting your, your antenna, I'm gonna show you where you need to start to paint. You don't wanna paint the whole thing because if you end up painting the, the base and then the paint runs all the way up to the, the element, the rating element, well, you just grounded your antenna. and it's gonna destroy your radio and it's not gonna work properly. So I'm gonna show you a few things where not to paint. Looking at your antenna, you see this hole? That's a drain hole so water doesn't accumulate inside the tube. You want to avoid clogging that and inspect your antenna periodically to make sure that that's not clogged. This is an insulation here that separates your radiating element to, uh, from the ground portion of the antenna. I recommend you spray painting like from this point above the drain hole on up the element. Always know which direction the wind is blowing. I don't feel any breeze. There it is. Alright, so it's coming from the, the north going south. So I'm going to leave the camera there and spray paint. Here's the drain plug and that's the bottom portion of the antenna. So I'm going to spray paint from here on up. We have the antenna resting on the stool. I'm not going to paint those areas yet. I'm going to wait until I get the antenna complete and then adjust this tool and then we'll paint that section. Here's another tip. Because I'm going to spray paint it camouflage, it's okay to to not make it all even because I'm gonna use some gray, I'm gonna use some, some green and some black. Here's another tip. You don't wanna spray too close 
because you're going to have blobs of paint and you want to shoot it as use bursts of spray paint and keep a distance nice and even. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna move the stools to a different place and then paint the areas where the stools were previously uh, positioned. It's already painted complete. That's just a flat gray. So next, I'm going to mix some colors and uh, I got some camouflage, looks like a flat black. And then we have this one here, camouflage. It's non-reflective and it's also flat and it's like olive drab. It's actually fun uh, mixing up the colors and making your own pattern. I'm gonna give you a closer look, take a look at it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just need to blend, blend it in. Okay, here's just a portion of the antenna. That flat gray along with specks of black. Okay, and then we're gonna get a little bit of green in there. Can you see the little green? So let me finish the antenna and I'll show you the finished product. All right, this is the final product. I'm gonna let it dry. Take a look at the paint. It's camouflage with flat gray, flat black, and uh, olive drab. All flat paint, you don't want it to be reflective if you want to be hiding your vertical antenna. And when it's standing upright, the antenna will blend with the trees in the background. I'm going to assemble these grounding, these, uh, the grounding rods to the plate. I think the easiest way is to put this copper underneath like that and I'm going to put some anti-seize and I'm going to come from the bottom there we go the ground radials washer, lock washer, the nut. It's time for me to put all these ground radials back into place. So the first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to put some of this jet lube 
because I like anti-corrosion compound. All right, what goes next? The star washer. All right, the connectors. But I'm gonna add some of this. You don't have to put some of this stuff on those jet lube, but I like to put it there. Uh, it gives me a, a a sense of positive connectivity. going to use my tool. This is a 7 16th. Both sides. Okay, nice and tight. So that's what it looks like right now. I have the grounding rod, the bonding strap connected to the plate, the grounding plate, the grounding plates connected to the antenna mast or base, the antenna base. And I need to connect the antenna itself, the element. So I'm not done. So let me finish all these ground radials. Good morning. Day three here in Atlantic Beach, Florida. And actually I finished my antenna last night after sunset. What I had to do was I had to finish up putting all the 40, uh, 27 feet ground radials to the grounding plate. So to summarize this video, I've installed the three additional grounding rods. I broke down my antenna, cleaned up all the corrosion, and also spray painted the antenna element. So here's the final product. Here's the base of the 05. If you look closely there, I've added the grounding rods with the one inch copper bonding. And there's a third one there. Inside that access panel is the fourth grounding rod. The antenna is spray painted with flat gray, black, and also like a dark green. And it's all flat spray paint. Wow, that was a long two days with hardly any food or breaks. Well, I got the antenna to the way I want it right now. Four grounding rods, spray painted the antenna element. The next step is I want to add 43 feet ground radials. So I'd like to thank you for guys for watching. If you like my content, please give me a like. For those that haven't subscribed yet, please consider to subscribe. It motivates me to make more amateur radio videos for you guys on my current setups, my updates that I have here. I have two locations. One is in South Texas. The other one is here in Jacksonville, Florida. But this is my main radio station here in Jacksonville. My name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. Hang on. Let me have a sip of coffee. Until next time, have a great day.